Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I crush Chatty Cathy's my T90 tank. I know a lot of you were expecting me to say nom nom nom, but I think that's really reserved for the Truckosaurus Rex on Cold War. Because anything else, I don't think it should be described as nom 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 in this game. And I got the Silent Shepherd here, but I'm about to do the impossible. Are you ready for it? Pay close attention. Wait for it. You ready? You ready? Depth proof. How did I just kill him? That's totally illogical. It doesn't make sense. Either he's lying, either he's just spewing lies, or he's not deathproof. Because I know there are some people that seem like they're deathproof on some servers. You know those guys that just teleport around? Like, they're bulletproof and invincible. Like, I'm bulletproof. I'm impervious to your bullets. I ain't never gonna die. Well, someone who is going to die is this lurking attic monster over here. And I check both sides in the ladder, and you're... Mm, give me a little sandwich! And I hate to say sandwich, because I know when I say that too fast, it goes to sandwich instead of this traditional of sandwich. Because that's the way, that's the way it should be, is sandwich. Okay? Sandwich. And feel free to sit in the corner. And we got an MLG Pro. You ready? MLG Pro. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him. He's so awesome with his crouch walk. He's totally silent everywhere he goes, like a ghost recon behind enemy lines. Spetsnaz mission. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. And more fast forwarding. I know it makes you nauseous, but I really don't think that you want us to be running around. I, th I think that would be so boring. Just, oh, here's Badger running around in between flags. That's awesome. And I know a lot of you like to see Rush a lot more than Conquest, but it's really, I play random games on random days, random times. Give me your sandwich! And that's right in the face. Isn't that great? Oh, just right in the face. Sometimes it's like, all right, I'm just going to stab, stab you in the back here. Sometimes it's just like, somebody's about to get smacked in the mouth. And that was one of those right there where it goes right in the face instead of like in the back end. Two chatty Cathy's down here. Carl's lurking in the corner. Good morning, Carl. And I don't, isn't that awesome? That's just an awesome cinematic. It's like I'm Tom Cruise or something. But it's like Tom Cruise and Chuck Norris combined into one person. And... They drink a Red Bull that day. You know whenever you're running by the guy and just you'll, you shoot him and you kill him as you're running by? It's like, yeah, it's so awesome, man. It's awesome. But yet again, running around, running around, running around. And I know that's a lot of what Conquest is. And I know that I have to fast forward that because that would be boring. And I'm trying to get back into Rush. But sometimes Rush can just get really, really annoying because it's even worse than Conquest in terms of awful teammates. And... Look at that smoke screen. I couldn't hit that guy because of that smoke screen for some reason, but that's one reason that I don't play Conquest as much. And did I just pre-fire the corner with a pistol? I don't know. I have no idea why I did that because that's totally illogical. But Rush sometimes even gets worse in Conquest in terms of awful teammates because it's like, all right, guys, let's play a game called Let's Arm the Objective instead of sitting in a bush, being a bush monster, trying to be a bush. But sometimes, it, it, I mean, for me at least, it's so lopsided. Good morning, Carl. Look at that, like, face first, right into the stairs. For some reason, I found that so hilarious at the time. And we got another crouch walker. Look at that. I crouch walk in the middle of the forest. Ain't nobody ever going to see me, ever. It's like, no. Clearly, I'm going to see you. Clearly, you're going to get spotted eventually. That might only work on Nelson Bay, where everybody lurks like some shadow monster in the darkness. But get one in the corner, and then I know. If this guy, I was like, all right, if this guy's not upstairs... He is downstairs. He's going to be in the closet being a closet monster. Are you ready? Wait for... Give me a sandwich. And I know that was a bit of a commando. And I know that is not always the best plan. Like, for example, if I'm in some other... Like, for example, I was posed with... And I, this will be my next gameplay. It was a, a Game Battles game on Port Val... No, it wasn't Port Val. It was Nelson Bay. And I was lurking in the enemy spawn on a rush game and I was in the attic and I, a guy got on the UAV and I thought should I get this guy's sandwich and I thought you know what not worth it I'm gonna shoot him up from up here and I'm just gonna get a headshot and that will be my next gameplay actually I don't know if you guys want to see that or not it's a rush game on Nelson Bay it's a game battles game and please inform me if you'd like to see that or not because I don't know if you guys would like to see that or not but it's actually very it's pretty intense if you ask me and yet again same it wasn't the same guy, but they all lurk in attics around the objective of being attic monsters instead of actually getting on the flag, trying to capture it. And that's not a huge thing because that guy was obviously an enemy, but it's just so annoying. It almost felt like every time after I would leave an area, I would just lose the area. Our team would lose the area. But the other thing is, on like 
On the contrary, is that I like this a lot more than playing with other people on my friends list. For some reason, I find carrying a, an entire team of Carls against a better team than us is more fun than just trouncing people with four, three squad mates that are all, are all very, very experienced players. So for some reason, I find this, this element of running around being really crazy and having to carry a team very, very enjoyable for some reason. And well done, sir. I don't know how many bullets I got in you, just two bullets, but well done lurking in the attic. And that, that happens so often, and that's something that was sort of annoying in this game, but then again, it was also to my advantage. And yet again, you can see here, we're ahead by, what, 50 tickets? And I'm still scrambling around because I knew, I knew, although we were ahead by 50 tickets, it would not, it was not going to last because these guys that we were playing against would obviously cap flags a lot quicker than we would because they have more players running around. And M14 ACOG, MLG Pro, and I know I've uploaded a gameplay with the M14 ACOG just to upload and showcase what it looks like, but for the most part, if you can use the M14's iron sights, use the M14's iron sights. And I really think that it's maps like this that I really truly do enjoy that are very linear in a straight line. Obviously the flags are in a straight line. For example, Oasis, I love that map. And Eureka Harbor is the same way, love that map. And White Pass, I also love this map. I don't as much like the larger maps that have four flags such as Nelson Bay, and Harvest Day, they just don't really cater to my liking. But for the most part, trying to carry a team in Conquest is easier than it is in Rush, for the most part. But at the same time, it's tricky. And I get that. I think that guy was running around with the 40 mil as his primary the entire game. I, I laughed at that so hard while I was playing because every time I would ever shoot him, he would always get it off, but he would always miss me for some reason. And like I said, running around trying to carry a team is tricky, but at the same time, it's very fun. And I'm, I'm not trying to say, like, to rock a rhyme, to rock a rhyme, that's right on time, it's tricky. No, not, not like that kind of tricky. It's like, it is difficult. And I was looking around forever for that guy. I was like, why am I not capping this flag? Is there some other catfish on this flag that I don't see? And a lurking bush monster. Or should I say destruction 2.0 monster, just lurking in the darkness. I hate it when they do that. I've really changed up my style most of the time to be active and move around the area of a flag while you're capping it to look for enemies instead of staying so stationary. And I don't know if you guys notice this too, but these bales of hay are the biggest catfish that I've ever seen. I pre-fired this guy around the corner. I think I'm going to get one over, one no, one more around the corner here eventually. And I'm absolutely going to get owned with the grotch. And that's something else that I wanted to identify is that I have actually switched up the Grotch to my go-to pistol. And look look at this guy. Jumping over a bale of hay, running around, Captain Buck Buck Bucka. I don't know what your name means. Please stay in the wall. Don't don't mind me. I'm gonna get that guy. Move around the corner here. Widowmaker. I believe I nemesis him because clearly I am making your wife the widow instead of you making my wife the widow. Clearly. Now, I tried to go really, really stealthy on this guy running around through the doorway and that's frustrating because I know the Grok does 25% damage when I have Magnum Ammo on it at close range. Sort of frustrating, but look at this guy. Okay, you really think, do you really think that your PKM hipfire is better than my hipfire? I think not, sir. I think not. And I always called A. I don't call A anything specifically, but I always feel like I'm about to get my sandwich taken when I was A. For some reason. I don't know why. It's something about the sound that goes on there, but look at this guy. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to sneak around. Look, he's lurking around, doing the crouch walking maneuver, and you ain't taking my sandwich away from me. Never. Sleazy P311, wonderful name, but Yes, it was always like this. Always like this, where I was the only one capping the flag. Look, nobody else is on the flag right now. Nobody. Nobody on my team. I know there's a guy lurking upstairs, and I was waiting for him to come down, and he makes a there, there, finally a teammate helps me cap this flag, just wonderful. And as soon as he drops down, boom, right in the face, oh man. And apparently he is death proof, although I got him once. He's kind of being an A94 Abacon catfish, but, and look at this guy, I was like, why are you laying mines down, buddy? I think, I think that's not going to happen yet again, Widowmaker. I think your wife is now the widow, clearly, not mine, and... That was another instance. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know that whole 
Chuck Norris, Tom Cruise, like, I'm running by you as I kill you, and you fade down, you, like, fall over me, and all this, like, blood's going everywhere. I find that sort of hilarious for some reason. And what are you doing with any tank mines over there, buddy? Are you going to place those tactically behind that blue bin? And he shoots, he scores. Look at that. And that's always, that's always so simple. I mean, you don't have to go through the trouble if that guy's in the matted MG of dancing around trying to shoot him in the feet. And yet again, get hit by the same MLG Pro bigger guy. And the, the other thing is, I don't know if you guys saw that, but as soon as I got shot by that guy, there was a quad anti-tank mine kill in the kill feed. That tells me that my teammates literally stacked up four people in one tank going somewhere and did not even look out for any tank mines. And give me all the damage! And I wanted to get him before I got the M14 catfish over here, bush monster, lay down. And that was mo mainly because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get both of them to turn around. I wanted to make sure that I got one quietly and then get the other one subsequently afterwards because I didn't want to sp try to spray them both down and then run out of ammo and then have to rely on my sidearm. But this is how I like to get a lot of my kills, right here. From the back, from the side, as they're coming out of the spawn, and Apollo, you know who that is? That is the same Carl that got face planted on the B building. You guys remember that? I was like lurking around, and then he eventually came up the stairs. He just smacked his face right on the stairs, and I laughed so hard at that moment. I have no idea why, but as you can see here, I have some overwhelmingly good accuracy with the the Krinkoff, the Krinkoff, the AK-74U. And, you know what, I think it's the only submachine gun that I would use a red dot on. I can really use the iron sights on any other, on any other submachine gun. I can really use the iron sights here, and I've stopped using the red dot on it. And, as a matter of fact, I've literally stopped using sights on SMGs altogether. It is so much more, or it, it's a lot more beneficial to use the iron sights on every SMG than an ACOG or a red dot. They're just not good decisions. It's better to go with the explosives upgrade and the extra explosive weapon damage on a lot of the larger vehicle maps such as Harvest Day and Oasis and so forth in heavy metal obviously and I get I don't get the first guy but I get the second guy that's Apollo yet again the face planter let's just call him that but really you should either be running the the ammo upgrade or the explosives upgrade if you're running the engineer kit realistically don't waste it on a site it's so it's just wasteful in my opinion. Even the UMP sites I got used to. So I'm trying to get one, get two. Uh, Tracer dart, awesome. I do get the guy with the hip fire, so I got both the guys that were there. But the third, third chatty Cathy came along having a gab fest, and he mowed me down. And that's sort of frustrating, but that's something, that's a tip that I would give you. I got that uh, Widowmaker, there you go. Nemesis pin, wonderful. Eh. You know what, I don't, I don't always like doing that because that tells me that I'm getting the same guys over and over and over and I like to spread out my kills a little bit more because that tells me that I'm going at certain objectives too much or something like that. Well, I don't really care about Nemesis pins, but it, it's, I feel sort of bad, like if it's like a total Carl player, I would rather kill, you know, one of those like level 50 players over and over and halfway teabag rather than getting a Carl five times. I don't like to kill people to discourage them from playing the game. If you guys know what I mean, like, I have mercy for some Carls that run around blindly. And I know this guy's here. I know he's here. So I thought, you know what, I might try my Falcon Punch. But my Falcon Punch didn't work because I'm not used to this stair set. But you know what, I'm just going to hit you with the RPG. And you might think, I don't know how they didn't kill him, but you might think the joke's on me. But the joke's on you, Mr. Deathproof, because squeeze, look at that. Get, get crushed, buddy. Ooh. And clearly we all know that I planned that. Clearly that was totally planned. I was planning on getting killed. And breaking the building down on him because that's so much more, so much more cinematic, right? And clearly, we all know that I'm lying there. Clearly, that was not my plan. Clearly, I just failed, but I just happened to get lucky. And yet again, clearly, you are not death proof for the third time, fourth time, not really counting. But this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at the engineer. He's up on the cliff. He's not even shooting the guy that's on the objective. He's not on the objective either. The I'm just going to lurk up here on the cliff and hope that somebody comes along and I can get the dog tags. Well, that's not really beneficial. And are you really going to try to take me down with the T-88? I don't think so, Mr. Don Whopper. I don't know if there's like some kind of other account that you have on Xbox Live called Don Big Mac, but T-88 hip fire does not beat the Krinkov in most cases. And yet again, okay, I have one other teammate. And we just got absolutely destroyed near this end part. And I think 
it's not only because we weren't capping flags like they were, but we were always just dying. Like we were just dying and dying and dying and dying and dying, and we weren't like we weren't reviving each other. But obviously, it can really eat into your tickets. And I get one more guy on the cliff. I couldn't get the second guy, but clearly we've lost by 34 tickets. But what are you gonna do? And I have to really explain why we lost in this whole end screen here. But if even if your team isn't capping as many flags, if your team is killing a lot more and they're dying, that can really eat into tickets and push the game in your favor. Okay, there's your final score. But look at this. Look at this. You ready? You ready? Okay. The second, third, and fourth place players on my team did not even add up to my score. That is the type of calls that I was dealing with. But I still enjoy it. I enjoy carrying really awful teams. Now, I'll see you guys next time. Alfredo Zane and Bisbalt.